my podcast, Fashion Unzip, Season 1, Episode 5. Um, I would like to welcome my guest speaker today, Tissa Fontanita, CEO of Tissa Fontanita. I'll say no more, I'll just let Tissa introduce you to the most divine luxury bag collection. Well, I have to be keep it very short because that's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm German, I'm from Munich, and uh, I went to study to Italy uh, when I was about 19, and... Uh, well, I studied literature and philosophy, so something completely different that at the end I ended up doing. Uh, but it was an amazing experience for me, in fact, very inspiring for the rest of uh, my journey. And then I went to, uh, f- then I moved to France. Um, I actually wanted to work in advertisement, but then, you know, things of the life, my French at that time wasn't so good. So I ended up working in fashion. And my first job was at Daniel Swarovski, the Crystal Stones from Austria. And they did amazing, beautiful evening bags. You know, it was a little bit different time. It was before the big groups came in, and it was all very creative, working for, you know, doing collections for Monsieur Yves Saint Laurent. And it was all very more creative, more elegant, but smaller. It, you know, the, the luxury accessories were actually, um, let's say, um, they were done in smaller ateliers. It it uh, it was not a big industry. In the, industry how it is now so that's very important and then um, I got hired by Louis in Spain because they wanted to do a collaboration with Terry Mugler, Terry Mugler and they uh, wanted to produce the Terry Mugler bags in Louis in Madrid because they had a very nice atelier called Estucheria where actually bags done out of wood uh, of um, uh, yes, yeah, so a wood would be covered with leather. So it was an amazing experience for me. And then I stayed in Madrid. I mean, Loewe wanted me to stay and I got married, you know, things in the life. And then I just, uh, yeah, and then I worked for them several years. But then, you know, Loewe became part of um, the group, the LVMH group, and that was not for me. I just really liked to be in the atelier. I want to be with the people. And it was, it got so, de- so bureaucratic that I decided to leave. And then, I just decided at a certain moment to do my own brand. So that's in a few words, the whole journey. Okay, and tell me a little bit, um, Tissa, like you, you've got an amazing, I suppose it's the bubble, bubble bag is what you're famous for. Can you explain to me the makings of this bubble bag and how long the process takes? So, in fact, the bubble, uh, the base of the bubble is lambskin, a very beautiful lambskin. And uh, in fact, when I worked with Louis the lambskin was a very important leather while I was working there. They, the Napa bags were famous in the whole world. And I always found that the Napa is obviously a beautiful skin, beautiful leather. But I thought for bags, it was a bit boring. So I wanted to do something with it, like do it more, I don't know, more 3D, uh, an interpretation of this really wonderful leather. So um, as it's very important when you are a designer to have the right people around, and I had that. So with my manufacturer, we just developed, we came up with the Napa bubble, which is done out of steam. I mean, the whole process to explain it, it's very difficult. It's actually, it's uh, it's printed out, but then it pressed, it's pressed out with steam. But it's a very complicated, very expensive, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a really difficult process. Also, because we are working with very natural leather. So we are not, um, the, the base, the raw material is paramount. For doing the bubble so every color and we're using a lot of color because this is what we are we love having beautiful colors so every color uh, reacts differently to this steaming process so it's very important i always say this to my clients this is a very artisanal uh, product and there's never perfection but because if we want to have a per- perfect surface it has to be full of plastic it has to be um, you know, then all this natural aspect, this, this, this softness would go away. So we want to stick to the natural uh, base, to the natural leather, to the natural like, tanning, and then use it for our for, for our bubble uh, uh, technique. And um, so clients who work with us, they understand that there might be small imperfections. Also, once those leather come to our workshop here in Madrid, the selection, you know, when you go to a big factory, from other big brands, you know, you see that everything is going to be so digitalized. In our case, it's not possible. There's still people working, selecting the leathers, joining one color to the other. It's 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 really long, but this is the charm of it. You know, this is that's this a breath of fresh air particular. to hear that, and it really is that it's more hands on than computerized. Um, hands on. That's the right word I was looking for. Fantastic. Exactly. Touche. 
And um, Tissa, what's the number one thing that, that separates you, Tissa Fontanda bag, from any other bag out there? Well, I mean, I, I, I quote my clients when they come in. You know, especially when it comes to luxury handbags, it's a lot about logo and, and branding and stuff. So obviously it's, 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 it's paramount and it's important. But, you know, when clients come, for instance, to my shop here in Madrid or to London, they always say, oh, my God, we find something different. Yeah. So these are, the bags are expensive. So these are obviously women who could buy Bottega. They could buy whatever they want. But these are mostly women spoiled and, and, and they like to be attractive and have different things that they don't want that everybody recognizes their bag you know so they like having something different and especially just imagine a, a person coming from the united states you know they're traveling around europe and they found they find everything the same and they are so excited about having something that is different i actually agree with you to say i that's what drew me to your bags i just love the fact that there's no big logo mm. hanging off them that they're quite exclusive exactly you recognize the leather you know you, you yeah. go on the street that's what people tell me you go on the street you see one of my bags and say oh this is a tisa bag no. just because of the leather of the color of the shape and that's something i'm very happy about. oh they're exquisite they really are and i absolutely adore your color palette i think the explosion of color that you work with is is just it's incredible there's yeah. something and i love all the different types of bags you have your little purse your little you know your coin purse your little wallet your crossover you've yeah. so many different variations um i'm really excited it's only my first season stocking your collection and i just want my yeah, customers because, to be educated yeah, on what sorry. your collection is about because it's so it's so special it really is special yes it, it is and you know we are working with a lot of markets in the world and obviously for, for the germans they like a lot of barrier cross or people in the netherlands you know because they are run around with their bike so they like the body across and others want more elegant pieces so i'm trying to make everybody happy so now we just started with brazil uh, they love explosive colors and so um it's we have to adapt a little bit to all our markets and uh, but it's fun i mean we are very um, we are very happy about it i mean it's and also when i look it's always very elegant women and it, women that are very independent women that are um this is also a very important point about my collection you know today you can be dressed you don't have to spend so much money to be nicely dressed if you have taste, you know. Just in summer, you have a nice linen dress. You can be creative there. But the accessory is very important. <laughs> you can embellish every, every dress, everything with a nice necklace, with a nice handbag. So for me, this is very paramount. I absolutely agree. That is just a gorgeous answer to what, what you just told me. And Alan, <laughs> or, sorry, Tissa, tell me a little bit about the future, what the future looks like for Tissa Fontanita. Um, well, um, two things. I mean, first of all, you know, there are a lot of people always say, oh, retail is dying, everything is online. This is not happening for us. I mean, people still want to go to in a shop and want to see the bags. They want to touch them, to fall in love, the whole experience. And we are, you know, we are very stuck, on, we stuck to this. So the future is finding stores around the world, nice stores, because we are very tricky on that. So we choose very, very, very carefully the stores we are in. Then having obviously our shop in London, then maybe another one in Madrid. Um, what is very new? We will start with ready to wear. Um, this is uh, I'm now going to Austria this weekend, and I will close myself in a house for two weeks without talking to anybody and designing this because it's new for me. Mm -hmm. And we'll obviously we will have collaborations with people for the knitwear. So this is the new thing. We will go, but it won't be catwalk things, of course not. But I want to have a very nice solid core collection ready to wear in ready to wear for Tisa Fontaneda that are linked and connected with the bags. Obviously. That's exciting. So you're talking about knitwear, you're talking about cashmere, what kind of fabrics are you talking yes, about? Yes, absolutely. So luxury yeah, cashmere yeah. and simple thin yes. lines. Yes, very simple. You know, I don't uh, I don't like things that are too chargé. I, I like simple things but with a twist. Yeah. And uh, obviously uh, they have to, we, have, we already do ponchos and, and hip hoodies. So um, it has to be linked to the look that we propose in Tisa Fontaneda, which is elegant, simple, touch of class, um, adapted to everybody, you know, not only a lady who is super skinny, <laughs> so everybody who is, should look nice with it. That sounds really exciting, Tisa. And when will you have this collection? Look, is it for next ocean winter? Or ocean winter yes, 2023? That, yes, or? That will be, yeah, that will be uh, for, that will be uh, for, sorry, this will be for fall winter. 
That's exciting. So I'm definitely going to be on the list to look at that collection. That's exciting because yeah. there's a huge demand for elegant, classy cashmere, high-end knitwear, but that's that's going to suit lots of shapes and sizes and that's going to be clean and chic, but not OTT. Yes. Yeah. yeah, there's a big market exactly. out there for that. So that's exciting. That's really exciting news for all our customers to listen yes. to. Um, Tisa, no, no, we are very happy about it. That was uh, so am I <laughs> when I heard this. Can you tell me a little bit, a bit about you? Um, tell me a typical day in the life of 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 your day. What does it look like, um, Tissa? Oh, that's not very relaxing. <laughs> you know, Probably I'm crazy off busy, right? Day. I mean, I get up quite early, and uh, my husband is always the one who wakes me up because he gets up so early. My God! And then I try to do some gym sometimes. I mean, and uh, then you know, from the moment I step into the office, it's like nonstop. Sometimes I even uh, forget to eat. I mean, it's really, really busy the whole time, um, which is nice. I mean, um, I have a great staff. I have a great team, which is paramount which is so important for me i mean i couldn't work with people i don't feel like we're like a family so it's everybody's working very hard so we are very busy the whole day and then you know when the day is over i i still have a family at home and a dog and a husband so i'm trying to split myself between those two things i mean i cannot really design in the office to be honest so i design on the weekends or when i'm a plane or when i'm walking the dog i mean I'm, I'm designing kind of everywhere but not sitting on my desk, obviously, it's impossible. So it's a busy life, but I'm happy uh, with this. I'm, I'm really enjoying what I'm doing, I have to say. Uh, it's um, it's something that really is, um, yeah, it's, it's something beautiful. Well, you know, I think, Tissa, I think behind, you know, I think it's really important to have a good team around you. I mean, it's really the secret of success behind every good man is a good woman, behind every good business is a good team. And I think you just stated exactly how I operate my business and, um, I just think it's great to have good solid background and good support behind you. So, and oh, that's so important. I mean, I couldn't even my without my my mother list. I couldn't I couldn't do it. I no. mean, he is just we've been working together since years. He completely understands. He reads my mind. So well, it's that's important. so important. Yes. Well, that's why you know it's great to have that support. Tissa, and um, what what are you most proud of regarding your current role? Proud. Um, well, I'm proud of a lot of things. Um, it's difficult to say. I mean, probably I'm proud. I mean, we are we are growing very organically, and uh, we are an independent brand, and we set this all up. I mean, I started this in my house, having the babies crawling on the floor, and I, you know, people are just buying us because of the beauty, and we are. Um, and, and, and I, I did it with relatively few money, to be honest. I mean, we are not spending millions in advertisement and publicity because we can't. So um, it's just a very boca boca, how you say in Spanish. And uh, uh, people just fall in love with the product. They just like what I do. And, and this is something which I am proud of. Listen, it's, oh my God, who inspires you, Tissa, on a day-to-day -day basis? Um... Uh, I'm, I get inspired by many things. I mean, I, I probably, I just walk on the street and I look at women and I look what they were, what they do. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes when I see at young people, their, their way to dress is, I'm, I'm, I'm always angry. I said, oh my God, why don't they dress that way? Can they dress in another way? You know, but okay. My, my daughter always criticizes me. She said, mom, are you always criticizing everybody? So I'm actually inspired by by, 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 by women in general, oh, you know, working women, independent women, uh, I, as I have to travel a lot, I look a lot, this is inspiring for me. Tissa, you've been incredible. Honestly, it's been fantastic talking to you. I just feel I've learned more Thank about you. your product. I'm excited about the future, about your initial Well, I collection. hope I can know your store once. Yeah, I you will definitely. And, and we would love you to come and visit. And I just want I, I just want to thank you for taking the time. Um, thank you, Tissa. 